When you look at our people, do they keep God's commandments? No, our people don't keep God's commandments. They wake up, they do whatever they want to do. They do but they make sure that they keep that white man's law. They stop at that red line. They stop at that stop sign. Was the entertainment like like Jordan? He's entertaining. Kobe was the entertainer. You know what I'm saying? They they playing basketball. They entertaining us. And the thing about it is, the, the people that we hold up in high esteem is basically considered the gestures. Yeah, right now, all we do is follow everybody else's rules. The rules we following was established when we couldn't read and write. They had chains on our neck. Brought out the understanding about the field as far as slavery goes, but what about up to today, right? Today we uh, we all work like the job field. You think about that, like we first we first what first fired, last hired first fired. You understand what I'm saying? Guess what? You might get a, a managerial position at a company, and a white person might have that same position. They may be making 150, but they're gonna start you at 70. You understand what I'm saying? You might not find that till find that out till like two or three years down the road. You understand what I'm saying? So the Lord said that we was gonna be cursed in everything that we do. That's the point. And that's the point he's making about us being the Israelites. We're gonna be cursed in everything we do. Even though we're gonna do the same things that everyone else is doing, we won't prosper like everyone else is doing. Go to uh Joshua chapter one and verse eight real quick, and then I'm gonna give it back to y'all. Joshua chapter one and verse eight, because a lot of our people we don't correlate the history because we weren't taught the history in, in school. Most of us in like our maybe uh, late 20s, 30s, and 40s, we know about history. But the, um, the people up under that, they don't know too much about slavery and stuff like that. They ain't teaching it in the schools no more. But watch this, read. The book of Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. This is what we haven't been taught. The, the, the God's word, it was never supposed to depart out of our mouth. We were supposed to always be taught God's word. We have a generation today that don't know nothing about God, but they know about everything else, right? And they don't they 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 look at things in society to look up to. And now we're in a bad position because like right now the most prominent person in St. Louis is who? Sexy Red. That's crazy. You understand? But go ahead, read. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, mm -hmm. but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Right, that, that's showing us discipline, that we're supposed to have a wisdom that's above all the other people. Go ahead. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Now, when you look at our people, do they keep God's commandments? No, our people don't keep God's commandments. They wake up, they do whatever they want to do. They do but they make sure that they keep that white man's law. They stop at that red light. They stop at that stop sign. They turn that blinker on. They keep the speed limit. You understand? But as far as God's word, we don't know it. You understand? So now when we bring it out, sometimes people feel a certain type of way about it. You tell me what to do. We ain't write the book. God said this is what we're supposed to do. Why? He read it. For then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous. So once we begin to understand that we have to do those things, that's when we will be prosperous. We won't be the entertainment for America. You understand what I'm saying? We ain't going to be the singer. We ain't going to be the uh, the athlete. You know what I'm saying? The rapper. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be the lawmaker. Right. The policy maker. You understand? We not that right now. All we do is follow everybody else's rules. The rules we following was established when we couldn't read and write. They had chains on our neck. But go ahead, read. And then thou shalt have good success. And that's when we're going to have good success. The Lord ain't blessing us now because we're not diligently doing what he says we diligently trying to live inside of the society of the people that oppressed us yeah. right if you think about what he just said that was some profound things one of the things is about the fact that you know a lot of our people that we look up to are you know what i'm saying in in like forms of entertainment like like jordan he's the entertainer kobe was the entertainer you know what i'm saying they, they playing basketball they're entertaining us in sports you know what i'm saying uh look all around all right at the same time, though, if you think about back in the old days, what was the entertainers during the times of the kings? They was called something. Anybody know that word? He's wearing a little funny hat with some bells on the bottom. Yeah, like the Joker, you know what I'm saying? They were some jets. In other words, you know what I'm saying? They was clowns. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is the, the people that we hold up in high esteem is basically considered the gestures. You know what I'm saying? We don't, you don't think about, you don't go back and say, well, you know, that's just... Back in the day, you know what I'm saying? He was crazy funny. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because 
that's not the important thing. We look at King David, or we look at you know King Saul, or King Solomon. We, we look at the kings, we look at their gestures and think about, think about it, holding them up in high esteem. At the same time, that's what America has relegated us to, is to holding, holding other people up in high esteem and drop us down to a very low estate. You know what I'm saying? That's why, we, that's why a lot of our kids, like, I want to be a pro basketball player. You know what I'm saying? A lot of our kids want to go out and play basketball. We, got, we go out there on, on weekends, we got folks, like, you look at like uh, football, like, like the football thing, the crowds be packed, you just be gangs of people, swarms of people out there just get their kids out there on that football field or that basketball court so we can make some money. Because we're thinking our kids, hopefully this, this is going to be a way to get out of this system. But the thing is, it's because our, our, our standards have been brought down so low, we, that's why we got to be brought back up and built back up as a people. All right? So um, now, we were reading in uh, Deuteronomy 28, I'm going to read another verse I'm going to drop down to verse 68. Like you said, a lot of people don't know about slavery, but a lot of us do know about slavery. Um, if, you haven't, if you haven't heard anything about it, you know what I'm saying, it would be a good time to start doing some little research. You know, Black History Month is coming up. Although it's like a forest, it's like, it's, it's just, you know, it is what it is. But at the same time, it can help, hopefully it can help uh, jog some memories about what went on in our history, you know what I'm saying, because a lot of us just don't seem to really care about our history, thinking that it's, it's, not, it's not really relevant. No, go ahead, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So, so God said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. Go ahead. With ships. So God is talking about bringing the Israelites back into Egypt again with ships. So first thing you got to understand, and that's, that's one thing about the Bible, is a lot of it is, uh, is written in code uh, and in parables and things like that. You got to learn how to break things down inside of it. So when you talk about Egypt, Anybody know what Egypt is referring to? What was the black people, what was the Israelites' plight during the time of Egypt? What was we? Yeah, you ain't did that shit? Playing game. Hold on. Look at this guy. What you doing, man? You subscribed yet? Subscribe right now. Do it. The slaves. The Israelites were the slaves in Egypt. You know what I'm saying? They, they was under taskmasters. All right. So we talk about when I'm bringing you back into Egypt, that means I'm bringing you back into bondage. God is talking about when we talk about Egypt is, is referring to bondage. It even says that in the Bible. You can even cross oh, so Egypt meant bondage. Yeah, Egypt. This is another word for bondage, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The Book of Exodus, chapter twenty, and verse two. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. So he said, I brought you out of Egypt. Then it says it says it again when it says out of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with the word bondage, because that's where the Israelites served in bondage in the time of Egypt. Just like that's why they call this Egypt is like, you know, go ahead. I was thinking, thinking about Babylon and the fact that America is the same thing. But go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 60. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So it says, this time you're going to go to Egypt with ships. If you know the story about in the Bible, you know that the Israelites, they walked into Egypt. You know what I'm saying? They walked in. They didn't necessarily, they didn't get transported on ships. So this is actually a future prophecy that God is going into. It's a prophecy saying that this is going to happen to your children if they disobey me and don't follow my word. Say, so I'm going to take you back into slavery. This time on ships, go ahead. By the way, world, I spake unto thee. Just like it was spoken, go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more again. And it says, you ain't going to see your homeland again. Think about it. When many of us got dropped off here in the 1600s, most of us ain't made it back over to Africa. Most of us ain't made it back to our homeland. Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So when you get off those slave ships, and this, this, is, this is talking about the Israelites, when you get off those ships, it says, there you're going to be sold unto your, who? Enemies. It didn't say your friends. It says your enemies. So the Bible says you're going to be sold unto your enemies. So you got to think about it. When we got off those slave ships, who would we sold to? Would we sold to the other black men walking around the planet? Or would we sold to some white folks? So-called, we call them so-called white folks because in the Bible, you don't hear it about white people in the Bible. They actually have a, a, um, a name, just like we asked at the beginning about what's our nationality. They have a nationality in the Bible as well. And their nationality is Edom. So you can read about it. It's E-D-O-M. You can read about it. It's some, 
Some crazy stuff you read about it, you'll, you'll notice that it actually correlates with who they are. Edomites. Edomites, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more again, mm -hmm. and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So the Bible says you're going to be sold unto your enemies. For bond men. Bond men is a slave man. And bond women. And bond women meaning slave women. So remember, when we came over on, on those slave ships, it wasn't just the men coming over. The women didn't come over independently. They didn't come over on a love boat. Everybody came over on slave ships together. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. And we said no man shall buy you that... Word buy is an old quick word which kind of talks about redeem. All right, so it says nobody will be able to redeem you. In other words, get you out of that state of slavery that you're in. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's what the, that's what God said. It says that's. Go ahead, Austin. You got something you want to bring it up? Yeah, cool. um, read forty-eight real quick. Yeah. Because he's going here to further expound upon the identity of the people, the black people here in America. We're not black. We're the Israelites, according to the Bible. And the reason we over here, the reason we, that we was brought in slavery is because we didn't do what God said. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of times our people think that, you know, God is for everybody. Right? And as he's been going over, he's not. You understand what I'm saying? Because Before you read that, get Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. I want to show y'all something. It's like three different parents. We want y'all to ask questions. Yes, sir. Because we are, because I know y'all got questions. I know you got you questions. Got the Everybody had questions. I know I had questions. The one that don't got it. Read that like quick. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. You got to think of God as a parent. God is our God. He's our parent. He's our father. That's right. Our, our father is a disciplinarian. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead, read that. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you. O children of Israel. So the Lord spoke a word against the children of Israel. Read. Against the whole family, which I brought oh, up from the land of Egypt. Against who? The land of Egypt. Right, read it for Read against who? Who do you read? Against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt. He brought the Israelites out of Egypt. So this word is for them. Right? Go ahead. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Read that part again. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Read it again. Slow so it's sinking. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. What God say? He said the Israelites is the only family that he knows of all the families of the earth. That's what he said. Go ahead. Therefore, I will punish you. I'm going to punish everybody. I will punish you. He said he's going to punish the Israelites for all your iniquity. For your sins. Now, give a root 3 and 8. Because we wasn't brought over here to live the American dream, to have the big house with the picket fence. That's what America taught us through slavery when we couldn't read and write. God is saying you was over, you was brought over here for punishment for being disobedient to his word. Right? Watch this read. The book of Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. Because I know what people like to think. Oh, I ain't asleep. I don't know what them niggas talk about. Go ahead. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are still in captivity today. He's going to explain to you what captivity is. Go ahead. Where where thou has scattered us? Where what? Where thou has scattered us? Well, we black folks got scattered through the sub-Saharan and transatlantic slave trade, yeah. right? That's how we were scattered all over the world. Mm -hmm. Slavery, right? Read for a reproach and a curse. For what? For a reproach and a curse. That's what he was reading in Deuteronomy the twenty-eighth chapter. The family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Read saying. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. He said, I'm going to punish you because you weren't supposed to pay this. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. He read these already, but now he's hitting home. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. If he chose us to be special, that means he didn't choose the other people. Something special is, 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 is separate from everything else. Like, you know, I got a bunch of pairs of shoes, but I chose these boots today. You understand what I'm saying? Like, everybody got a favorite something, right? God says he has a favorite people, and he's talking about us. You understand? He's punishing us because we didn't do what he said. But watch, he read. To be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people that Wait, 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 wait. You read it too fast. Read it slow. Above all people. Above. Right? Who do we pay taxes to? 
The government, right? Who run the government? What race? Come on, come on, come on, Alice. Let's just get through. I feel like the people run the government. I mean, what people? Right. What people? Everybody. Okay, it's everybody. lions, everybody. it's tigers, it's, it's lions, tigers. Everybody not. has human race. If you're a human race, we okay. all run the government. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to keep it plain. I want to keep it plain because you know we talk, you know. That's as plain as it is. No, I'm just listen. We got lions, we got tigers, we got pumas, we got cougars. All of those are cats. Yes, correct. But who's the king? The lion. The lion. So it's order and everything. That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say. Okay, but they're different, right? Yes, they're different. They are different. They got they all they all got their different attributes. They say the lion the king because he got the strongest bite or something like that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, they all have different attributes, which make them different. Even though they're in the same, they, they have the same genetics, correct. they're still different. We will work with anybody and form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. We want free by any means necessary. We want justice by any means necessary. This is a revolution of God. This time that we're living in, the greatest time on earth, the revolution. A spiritual and biblical revolution. All these lives will be shut down this earth. Call in.